Hi, my name is Chen Chen Lin from Chinese Arts Alliance of Nashville. Today we want to talk about the story of Moon Goddess. She's also known as Chang'e. It is one of the most beautiful legends of Zhongqiu Jie, Chinese Mid-Autumn Moon Festival. In addition, we'll show you how to make a paper lantern to go with Moon Festival. Here we go. Zhongqiu Jie Chinese Mid-Autumn Moon Festival is rich in oral histories and legends. It is celebrated on the 15th day of 8 months of the lunar calendar when the moon is the fullest. It is recognized that Neil Armstrong, the American astronaut, was the first man on moon. But that's not necessarily what Chinese would like to believe. Chinese believe that the first person who reached the moon was a beautiful woman whose name is Chang'e thousands of years ago. Today, we are going to talk about the story of the moon goddess Chang'e and illustrate how to make paper lanterns. Children celebrate the mid-autumn moon festival by marching in the night carrying their lanterns. Candles placed inside the lanterns glow like little moons. Family and friends gather to enjoy the full moon, a symbol of abundance and harmony. The moon is in, which represents female energy. Women take center stage during the festival. When the full moon rises, Women approach the altar of moon goddess and pray for good fortune. There are so many versions of the moon goddess story. The version that we know goes like this. Long, long time ago, moon goddess was a beautiful young girl fairy living at the Jade Emperor's Palace in heaven, where immortals and fairies lived. One day, she accidentally broke a precious treasure owned by the Jay Emperor, the ruler of the universe, that angered the Jay Emperor. He banished this girl fairy to live on Earth. This beautiful fairy was transformed immediately into a member of a farming family on Earth with a sure name, Chang. She was named E, which means graceful and elegant girl. When Chang'e was 18, a young hunter named Ho Yi spotted her, now a beautiful young woman. It was love at the first sight. Ho Yi is not an ordinary man either. He was the greatest archer in the entire nation. He was strong and skillful. Back then, it was said that there were ten suns circling over the sky. Each sun took its turn to illuminate the earth. But one day, all ten suns appeared together, scorching the earth with their blazing heat. Their intensive heat dried up the rivers and fields. Cracked land and crops wilted and died. People starved and suffered. The Emperor of China summoned Ho Yi, the archer, to shoot down the suns. Ho Yi climbed the highest mountain where he could be as close to his target as possible. Once he reached the mountain top, he stood firm, taking aim at the imperial suns. There were so many of them. He let the arrows go one by one from his hand. The suns with arrow piercing through immediately fell from the sky and vanished. As Ho Yi took aim at the last sun, he was quickly stopped by the emperor, for the last sun would be essential to the earth. That is the one sun which is with us till this day. As a reward, the emperor named the archer General Ho, and as Ho Yi wished, he was granted the farmer's daughter Chang'e 
to marry. The wedding took place at the emperor's palace. The couple was very happy. They have admired each other for a long time. Now they finally got to marry and live together happily. Life on Earth with Ho Yi seemed to be very good. However, Chang Er missed the life in heaven, and also felt that her youth and beauty were fading. People feel that the suns will appear again to torture them, so they pray to Shi Wang Mu, the mighty queen of heaven, to make General Ho immortal, so he could always defend the emperor. And the country, their wish was granted, and the general Ho was given the elixir of immortality. Ho Yi hoped that he and Chang Er could both take the elixir together to attain immortality. However, Chang Er selfishly drank the entire magic elixir for herself. Just as Chang Er did this, Ho Yi saw Chang Er's body become lighter and lighter, slowly rising into the air and fly into the night sky. Wait! Do not leave! Ho Yi cried. He started to chase after her, but she passed right by him. Chang Er flew and flew until she reached the moon. As a punishment to Chang Er's selfishness, Xi Wang Mu, the mighty queen of heaven, banned Chang Er from heaven. Chang Er stayed on the moon for eternity. When Chang Er reached the moon, she found nothing but a white rabbit under a tree. Chang Er was so lonely there; she missed Ho Yi and regretted. Her selfishness. The air on the moon is cold. Chang Er coughed off drops of elixir. She instructed the rabbit to mix the moon dust with the elixir, and scatter them on Earth to give blessings. She lives on the moon to this day. Just squint your eyes, you may see her. It's been said that if you make an unselfish wish to the moon goddess for three consecutive nights, the wish will come true. Make a wish. Zhongqiujie, 快乐 Happy Mid Autumn Moon Festival. Let's make a paper lantern. First, you may need to pause the video and get your material and tools needed. Be ready. This project is involved using utility knife. Please pay extra cautions, and adult supervision is recommended. There is a cardboard underneath the two color papers. To protect your table, use the ruler to guide and cut the two color papers with a one diagonal line together. Then use these two different color paper and reassemble as one. Then use a pencil and a ruler. Mark down half an inch horizontal strips, top and bottom of the paper. Also, mark the half an inch parallel lines in between, like the picture shown. Use the utility knife carefully. And a ruler, cut each parallel line. 
be sure you leave half an inch on the edge of the table. Then cut off one parallel strip of one side of the paper to be glued and connect the other side of the paper. Now we are making a cylinder to put inside the lantern. Let's draw down a rectangular shape of 7 inches by 11 inches or 5 inches by 11 inches. It really depends on what the lantern's outcomes you would like it to be. Continue to follow the illustration. Set aside of the strip for the lantern handle. Prepare some scotch tapes, take down the edges of the cylinder, and then slide through the two-color lantern cylinder that we made earlier. Use the tape and glue to secure parts of the lantern as illustrated. Now you can see the shape of the paper lantern. Use the groove to secure the top part and the bottom part of the lantern. Add a handle, then a simple colorful paper lantern is done. If you would like to add a paper tassel, continue to watch the illustration. Use the leftover red paper to cut out a rectangular shape of 2 inches by 1 inch. And use another piece of the leftover yellow paper to make a rectangular shape of 5 inches by 3 by 5 inches. Continue to follow the illustration. Leave half an inch strip on the top of the rectangular. And then use knife to cut out many thin slices of strips. Pick up your needle and thread. Tie a knot at the end of the thread. Glue the knot to this yellow paper as demonstrated. Roll it up. And then use the needle thread in two beads. Put it aside. Now pick up that two inches by one inch paper, fold it in half, and use pencil or marker. Write Yue. It means moon for decoration. Glue it to the thread as demonstrated. Now, let's figure out how to attach this paper parcel to the lantern. Make two half an inch strips and continue to follow the illustrations. with the cross. Use more tapes to tape the cross with tassel onto the bottom of the lantern. We are almost done. 
Then finally add the paper handle. Here it is, the paper lantern with tassel.